What's up YouTube, Dan here, and welcome to another episode of my Schalke Krimmer series, and welcome to episode number 10. Uh, today we have a massive episode, we have got the best game so far this season, and also transfer deadline day. We have got now 10 hours to try and sign Andre Schürrle, and hopefully get rid of Klaas Jan Huntelaar. Uh, first of all, going for 5 million plus a man himself, Klaas Jan Huntelaar. They said no, and they wanted 8.5 million for the guy. Uh, so you know what I'm going to say to that? I'm going to go for that because basically, if you think about it, that is a lot of money. That's nearly 30 million, I would say, uh, for obviously Schürrle, which is a lot of money. But think about it, Huntelaar is going to start losing rating and that kind of thing. He's going to start losing value. Uh, so that's why I decided to go along with it. Obviously, Sherlock could play as a striker as well. Uh, so that's why I kind of went full out for Schürrle and didn't worry about any players or any other players trying to buy on this transfer uh, deadline day, guys. But anyway, you can see an offer here for Draxler uh, from Everton. So early on in the transfer window, uh, I have actually got some even better offers from Barca and Madrid. But this guy is going to stay a Schalke for the whole series because uh, I know he'll get good at some point, obviously with a massive potential. But there we go, guys. Contract offer accepted for Andre Schürrle. And that means, that obviously, Huntelaar is now going to Chelsea, which... I, I, I wish him good luck because he's barely going to play. But Schürrle, welcome to Schalke. We're going to confirm it right away. And we still got about 2 million left over as well, guys. So could we go uh, for one more player? Because you can see here we're going to go into new signing and arriving. And here's our team. So we have now got, I uh, think it's either Al Sasa or Al Kassa, I, I do believe it's pronounced. Uh, basically, guys, leave a comment down below with what you think is pronounced. Or oh, I think it's actually Alcazar or something like that. But I'll go with Alcazar for today's episode. Uh, but there we go, guys. We've now got Schürrle into the team. And this guy is going to be insane. But the question is, where does this leave Draxler in this squad? So he'll be playing as uh, either a centre midfielder or either a right midfielder. So that could work out either way. Obviously, Farfan is now getting to 31, I do believe. Uh, so obviously he's going to start losing value and rating as well. So it could be uh, Drax's chance against the team, guys. But basically yesterday, the Champions League draw was announced. So you see the fixtures on screen at the moment, guys. Leave your comments down below because I know there'll be a lot of Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans, and also Man City fans as well who support, obviously, all three of those teams. Obviously, might even be some French fans, some Spanish fans. Uh, let's see, have a look down below in the comments section. Uh, whatever team you support, if they're in the Champions League or Europa League, what do you guys think about your draw? Uh, let me know in the comments section section down below but now it is time for the first game of the episode we know a hamburger and this is actually another game in the cup and I don't really care about this card to be honest guys I'm all about the league and also uh, the Champions League as well guys but now it is time for the first game of today's episode we have now got Schalke versus Borussia Mönchengladbach and this is a massive game uh, obviously it's at the Veltans Arena as well and first of all here is the Bundesliga league table uh, see there Bayern Munich have basically won the league so well done to them uh, we see that they have drawn one game and lost one game so I'm probably thinking they've drawn against Dortmund but who did they lose against it was us remember earlier in the season uh, it was actually in the first episode I do believe maybe second episode uh, but that's when the first loss came and hopefully uh, we can repeat that in today's episode by pay uh, playing them later on in today's episode and don't miss it guys it is a thriller but now uh, the first two chances there falling to Bruce McGlabach but Alcazed had nothing of this he goes past one defender as you can see there with the turn of pace he goes into a great position and bangs the shot in it goes top right corner and we have taken the lead and it's Alcazed Alsace or whatever his name is with the first goal of the game and that is a way to mark your uh, basically your proper debut obviously last episode uh, early, I think he's on half fitness as well uh, but this game he came on the blocks with a fantastic top right -hand corner finish uh, making it 1-0 and what a fantastic start to this game obviously not playing too good but still if we create chances we will score goals and that's how it works out but again Wanyama finding Alcazar uh, but again we miss a target uh, Alcazar showing how good he is and how much of an improvement he is over Huntelaar as well and that's exactly what I need in this team so now we're at half time and so far the stats are looking pretty even but still I think I do deserve to be winning uh, thanks to Alcazar with a fantastic long range goal keeping it 1 0. What a goal that was uh, to open your account in the Schalke. But here we go in the second half. Crane with the shot. But Santana wants this win more than anyone with a fantastic block, uh, keeping it 1 0. But now moving into the last minute, Santana actually gets past him in the end. But a fantastic save uh, from Manuel Neuer. Obviously, Furman, but what a save that was once again. Uh, Sherlock obviously wanted Gladbach to win this game as he loses the ball like twice in the space of about a minute. Uh, we finally get a name on the ball there, and that is a fantastic win. And that actually concludes the first game of today's episode. But now it is time 
for the big game. We have now got Bayern Munich. This is the biggest game so far in the series. This is the best game I've played on FIFA 15 as well. This was just uh, absolutely incredible, guys. So can we get, uh, hopefully, a complete our double over Bayern Munich this year? Let's find out because there is the league table, guys. We are an out absolutely outstanding, about 20 points behind them, which is just, I can't believe that. How good have they been uh, so far this year? But obviously, the players are Alaba, Ribery, you've got Robin, you've got Gersa, you've got just so, so many uh, world-class names in this squad, guys. But here we go. We find a way past their defence. But may miss the target. Unlucky there, but with chances like that, Especially against Neuer as well, you have to take your chances. Uh, but Neuer didn't even move. He's so confident. He knew that was going wide uh, from the minute he took his first touch. But now moving on to the 17th minute. It is all just a bit scrappy around the box here. It finds Lewandowski, who passed back to Schweinsteiger. But Mendes in the way once again. And even cool enough to actually take out his hands and pass it out to Ashida on that right hand side. But now a fantastic ball through the middle to Berteng. And he keeps on going, but a fantastic save once again from the goalkeeper, Manuel Neuer. He is going to be so difficult to beat, but somehow we're going to have to beat him if we want to win this game. And obviously against Lewandowski, we're going to have to score uh, to keep it as a draw. Obviously he's going to score in this game, but there we go once again. Uh, I think that was a Draxler in a, in a fantastic position. He should be taking those chances, but no, Manuel Neuer gets his way or gets in the way of the ball there uh, to keep it 0-0. And that's how it ended for the first half. And at this point, I was thinking, I could go for this win with the defence or the state of the Bayern Munich defence. We could be going for this lead and this would be a fantastic three points. And obviously completing a double over Bayern Munich as well, guys. And so now it is time to release our new, basically our new attack, guys. Uh, taking off, I think, Wanyama for Herger. Also, Al Alcazar coming on for um, Boda, I do believe he played the first half. Uh, it's not a bad way to start your debut as well. Or not a bad game to start it for your uh, new team as well, guys. But now at the corner into the box is Lewandowski who finds his ball in the box and the Berteng how did he not clear that ball away and that is a goal there for Bayern Munich I said Lewandowski was scoring this game and so he did in this second half but now Alcazar with a fantastic bit of skill going into the box but he hits the post that was so unlucky how did he not score that and again how have we not 1-1 at this point but now Draxler wants to go he takes off Bertings into the box and it goes in it's now 1-1 as Draxler scores to the goal look at that Julian Draxler he might have not done anything so far this year but that makes up for it and he's banging form right now as well guys uh, since our new signings Alcazar and obviously Andre Schürrle as well look at this shot here from Draxler find the space as well and Manuel Neuer you don't have a single chance of saving that in a million years but now moving on into this kind of last 20 minutes of this game this is when it starts to heat up a fantastic ball to the far fan and he's now bearing down the goal as well can he finish it and it actually goes into the side netting as Manuel Neuer watches it go past him and that means I'm going to make some subs I saw Robin was coming on I have to reply to their subs as well uh, was the thing do I go defensive or do I go attackive and you're going to find out now guys as Bayern Munich again on the attack uh, we don't actually manage to get the ball away surprise surprise again as Bayern Munich do actually hit the side netting with Lewandowski the main man we've only got a minute left as well guys and can we get this all important goal it is currently 1-1 and look at this, Thiago is furious with that chance that Lewandowski has just missed. But talking of chances now, I make a terrible mistake and Philip Lahm scores the goal. And now Bayern Munich have taken the lead and what have I just done? I've, I've always done that mistake. Every single game I make that mistake as well. And it's costed big time here, guys. I, I don't know why, I just have to pass it out. And Lahm was in a fantastic position. God knows why he was that far out of the pitch as well. But Bayern Munich have now taken the lead and this could be... Three points we've just lost as well, guys. We, I think we deserve to be winning this game, to be quite honest. And they're tripping team with another chance. But Neuer with a fantastic save, uh, keeping it 2-1. But the game is not over. Plus four is out of time as well, guys. And it goes into the box. But obviously, they've got Dante Berting as well. Uh, we find another chance here with Herg on the ball. And he finds the ball into the box. Can we score this one? It goes into Alcazar. It falls to Draxler. But Chubman Ting is there. And we score in the last minute to equalise against Bayern Munich. That is the most important goal of the series as well. And what a goal from Chubman Ting. I thought he was offside as well. Uh, but looking back on it here, look at this. He finds himself in a perfect position. Draxler's shot was blocked. But look at that. We have survived in the end. We, did, we get our just deserved as well, I do believe. And look at that. What a fantastic goal, making it 2-2 with minutes on the clock as well, guys. Seconds on the clock, I would say, as Neuer. How did he not save that? I don't understand, but there we go, guys. The game is over, and 
what a fantastic, it feels like a win. I was about to say, what a fantastic win. Uh, but what a fantastic result as well, guys. Uh, see, we did actually have 12 shots in that game. We should have won that game. Uh, but that's actually going to be the end of today's episode. Eight absolute thrillers. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.